Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and uh, one day in December of 2016, I decided to buy the My Third Stewart Knit and Wee Kit. Uh, I decided to buy this because it was detachable and you can make any size loom you needed or wanted, and if you wanted to buy more to continue piling on, I thought that would be good. And then decided to buy four ball, uh, balls of the Burn It Baby, a blanket. Uh, that's a 3.5 OZ, which is like 70 yards apparently. Um, mostly because it was very soft and bulky, and I wanted to make a big project. That's what I decided right off the bat. I didn't want, you know, to make these practice items or like, uh, Maybe a, a scarf that I would never wear. So I got, you know, two of the little lilac, which is lilac with the white and the gray. It, it's like a slightly lighter. I don't know if it's because it's near the white or it just happens that way than the actual lilac. I mean, the lilac by itself as the second color, which is uh, darker and solid. So it was like $40. And I did little research going and I did more going on and um, decided to do like a jacket sweater thing. Uh, so I started with the four balls initially and then I got eight more eventually, which is like, um, I found a store online that was a bit cheaper. So uh, the, uh, the product itself was a bit uh, crappy, I guess you would say. Like, cheaper made, like it snaps easier, but it's still, it's still pretty good. And so I got 8 balls for about the same uh, price as what I got the original before, so you know, half the price. So another $40 went there, and I got another March of Stewart kit because I wanted to be, because I use most of the, uh, the kit by itself, just making the body uh, of the sweater. And then, so I wanted to have the separate ones for the, uh, to make the arms, and then I wanted to add a hood, and maybe eventually, maybe pockets. I also wanted it to be reversible, because some people like the look of the Vs on the outside, or maybe just a straight line on the outside, so maybe two pockets on, uh, back to back on either side. And this way you always have inside pockets too, which I always found that I kind of like, but I wanted it to be more of a bulky item. So... The sleeves and the hood took about two to three weeks. I, I no, I definitely popped both of the uh, two, this one sleeve and the hood out in like the same week. Or uh, that's pretty much all I was doing. Like uh, anytime I had free time, that uh, and it was easier because it was just a circle. I was using the uh, the circles by themselves, or like a little extra add-on when I was doing the hood to make it round. But again. For the hood, I wasn't connecting it, uh, connecting it, so it was a bit, uh, especially in your head when you're like, when do I decrease it? How much do I do extra? So it's like um, definitely bigger at the top than it is at the bottom, so it has like a bit of a bend at it. And again, I didn't really do a lot of looking up because most of the hoods, you do one side and then the other side and then you connect it in the middle, and I, I, I didn't really like that look, but I understood why they did it because definitely mine is a bit weird shaped, uh, it's, but I ended up liking how it looks, so weird shaped and all, body done, I, I want to get a couple inches right now before I, you know, edit this and add more pictures, uh, to the body before I, I uh, put everything together again, I don't really know how to do that, other than, you know, finishing it off and then sewing it back together, and again, I don't like that look, so I think I'm going to leave it on the loom, and then add the, it's totally add the items, because a lot of them, I left them the hoops in, so, but maybe you can see what I'm talking about, maybe not, depending on the lingos, and, because again, first the time doing this, ended up moving three times during this process, uh, originally I was in, uh, Westerville, Ohio, um, which was ironic, because, uh, I started doing this with, mostly doing it with DT Life, anytime I was watching DT Life, because, there's a lot of pauses in their videos, when, especially when they're an hour long, where you weren't especially paying attention and I have a short attention span and I have the tendency to try to skip ahead of things so uh, I, I decided to do a uh, crafting when I was watching them and Matt, uh, Matthew Patrick and Matt Pat as he likes to be called uh, happens to be you know from Ohio as well and the Westville is just 
it slightly above Columbus. It's not very well known, but it's starting to get bigger. So, yeah, it's been a long process. I do it outside of GT Live as well, but you know, mostly uh, whenever there's long, uh, mostly talks where I'm not really paying attention to the screen, but I don't really like to do it when I'm just listening to music, multitasking mostly, or you don't really get a lot of the crafting done itself. But, you know, when it's smaller, it's easier, because then it's just a repetitive motion. When it's bigger, it's kind of like a mingling thing. I ended up uh, doing it with uh, Dan and Phil as well, down hell, and Phil Lester. Um, and podcasts and different things, or, or like uh, audible books. Uh, a lot of things that people, you know, advertise or, who are sponsoring them. So it's like, hey, do this at the same time, things. Um, this is also my first time doing, like, uh, videos or, like, uh, taking long pictures and then trying to upload them and then trying to record my voice and, uh, you know, just in general. For still a lot of things, I had a microphone, I had a, uh, you know, just a lot of first, uh, uh, trying to do new things and pushing my boundaries and um, figuring out things and pushing through stress and anxiety and depression and some things that were going through my life and moving constantly it seems like and um, just trying to keep up with the project even if it won't turn out good or not so I'll let you know how it turns out thanks